welcome to Home Cooking with Song Jit. Today I'm going to cook a very simple fried kway teow. In this recipe, I will not be using any meat or prawns. Just a simple fried kway teow with egg for breakfast. Sometimes if you do not have meat or prawns in the house, you still can make a nice fried kway teow for your family. So I have about 2 cup of kway teow or ho fan. This portion is for 2 serving. 1 egg, 2 cup of bean sprout, 4 cloves of garlic chopped, one red chili cut for garnishing, spring onion for garnishing, quarter teaspoon of sesame seed oil, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, half teaspoon of thick soy sauce, half tablespoon of light soy sauce, and quarter teaspoon of pepper. And I'll be using some onion oil. It's pretty simple, so we can go ahead and get started now. Heat the pan, and I'm going to put in about two spoons of onion oil. If you do not have onion oil, you can just use normal oil, it's fine. But for using onion oil is to give a nice fragrance to the kwetiao. And I'm going to fry the garlic. And we're going to fry the garlic until it's nice, crispy and golden brown. Garlic is ready, so I'm going to switch off the heat and take it out from the pan first. So I'm going to put it aside, switch on the heat again, and I'm going to fry the egg. I'm just going to smash the egg just like that. No need to 100% cook and I'm going to switch off the heat and take it out from the pan as well. Next, I'm going to put all the sauces in, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, all the pepper, and sesame seed oil. I'm going to put in a little bit water, very little, like one tablespoon of water, and I'm switching on the heat again. We're going to bring it to boil. Once it boils, you can put in the kway teow or the ho fan. Stir fry it until the kway teow is cooked. Actually, they cook pretty fast. Take about one minute. You see? Once the kway teow is softened, it should be okay. And now I'm putting in the bean sprout. I'm putting a lot of bean sprout because we like it a lot. You can reduce it according to your preference. But for me, I put it quite a lot. Give it a stir. Alright, the bean sprout is soft and the noodle is the kwete is cooked. I'm putting in the spring onions and a bit of chili. And we're gonna pull back the egg. Just mix them. Putting back the fried garlic. Alright, now I can switch off the heat. Just gonna taste it. Mm, delicious. It is tasty and the flavor of all the ingredients that we put in is all really mix very well with the noodles and the bean sprout is still very crunchy so it's very simple and perfect fried kway teow let's eat so a bit more fried garlic, I'm just going to pour it over. 
on top. To have this fried kway teow, you can have it with um, cut chili and put some light soy sauce if you want it more spicy. This looks so delicious. Although we do not put meat, we still can make a very nice fried kway teow. Mm. Tasty and flavorful. The kway teow is perfectly cooked. The bean sprout is crunchy. The fragrance of the sesame seed oil, the oyster sauce and the light soy sauce. The combination of all these ingredients is perfect. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And remember to subscribe for more of my simple cooking like this. Thank you and bye-bye.